The following video shows the solution for this in view. Uh, if you see this one, the link, what we have there uh, is uh, here in the, in the edge, you see the failing link, which says, okay, I want to go to localhost and then read and then front slash and then curly brackets uh, means percent seven uh, B percent uh, seven. So this is wrong. And the solution is uh, one link below. And how does this work? Uh, the problem is when you are in a uh, in view, then normally uh, when you come from Angular or from React, React you set uh, a link and then uh, curly brackets, curly brackets, and then the internal val value, which is uh, somewhere in your TypeScript or in, on your uh, JavaScript file uh, added. So that's the normal way how I w expected it. And the difference is you go uh, like this. Oh, this is wrong. There's not an A in there. Um, you make a link for this, this and then you say uh, view bind. And then uh, the property therefore is the, uh, the attribute is uh, double point uh, href. And then you set the values in there. So let's see, uh, you see this one. You say that's the value from here and then uh, make a, a string, a string concatenated by the value. So there are no curly brackets inside. The uh, view bind uh, also uh, already knows that the value is inside. There is uh, the concatenated internal value. So uh, that's the solution for it. So you have href here like this one. That's the normal way and then uh, view bind and then you concatenate a string with the internal stuff. So that's the stuff what you see here. And also when we go to uh, the developer mode, this case, then you see that, that when I'm on here, the rendering part is, this one is the wrong one. You see there's still rendered the curly brackets, which are in HTML, not uh, necessary anymore. You need it like this. Uh, so you have the link in there.